Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today uh, I'm with uh, Amy and Ian and Kimberly, and we're going to minister to 10 people. If you would also like to receive prophetic ministry, please write your name in the comments, and we would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. All right, so Ian is going to start at first. Okay, the next word is for Christina. Christina, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Okay, what I saw for you is, it was, uh, you, there were straws that you had to draw and you drew the shortest one and you're like, oh, this is not what you actually wanted. But you said, okay, I will still, I will still do it. I will, uh, I'm part of it. This, this is what I have to do. And then when you walked away, I see how the Lord started walking with you and you're like, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. And the Lord says, yes. Because you stick to what you said you're going to do, how the Lord comes and He walks with you. And now suddenly your whole mood changes, You, where you were depressed, now you're suddenly you're so full of joy. So, so grateful because the Lord is walking with you and you are not alone. Be blessed. Uh, Amos, Christina, please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Jenna. Jenna, the Lord shows me how you are writing and how you are engaging the presence of the Lord to find your creative flow. That you do not engage in, in other things or think that other, other um, gateways will help you find this flow or this routine. And the Lord shows me how you must connect to Him to find this creativity and how you find this river of creativity and you jump into it and how you just start to write down. I don't know if you're writing down a story or you're just writing down these plans or this vision or you're just writing down what the Lord tells you. But the Lord shows me how He wants you to be creative and to make things and to surround yourself with people that 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 are excuse me that are also creative in the Lord and how you all just connect into the Spirit and create something beautiful. That's what I see. Beautiful. Okay, uh, Jenna, uh, God bless you. Uh, Jenna, I just see how the Lord heals you and He strengthens you. And so you don't have to fear, trust in God, uh, but you also have to, on your side, um, do the, the, the obedient steps uh, to, to see that promises of God being fulfilled. God bless you, Jenna. Okay, uh, Luis uh, Santiago. Uh, so the Lord is showing to me how He is strengthening you in your spirit, in your soul, in your body. And I'm just feeling that over the next two years, you're going to go through a tremendous training period where you're going to physically build your body and strengthen your body and then also in your soul how you're going to build your mental strength and even in your spirit how you're going to build your your physical strength and i actually see a man that's doing pull-ups but he's got a, a weight that he hangs on a on a belt around him and he's able to do a lot of pull-ups and he's very very strong and i just felt that the lord says that he's giving you the anointing to draw from god and to release to others and to bless and he's raising you up as a father and as a leader god bless you lewis amen god bless you lewis god loves you this next this next word is for sidoni um there's really a prophetic calling in your life god is calling you to prophesy and then also i feel like you're trusting the lord for for actual vision for eyesight i don't know if it's for your own eyesight um or for a friend of yours um or a family member but i just feel that there's going to be a miracle for eyesight and 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 not being able to really see through glasses but to properly see i just feel there's going to be a breakthrough of that um and then also i really feel how the the lord has placed a shield around you and if if i could describe it it's like you're wearing a white t-shirt and it's like it it's indestructible like people can throw mustard or tomato sauce on it it will not stain it's like it just falls off and i just feel the lord says that's exactly and it's the shirt will still be pure white and i just feel the lord says what enemy whatever the enemy is going to like throw at you um you are going to be covered with the blood of jesus and that t-shirt will not stain i just feel the lord says i've given you a shield of faith i've given you the armor of god and i just feel god saying very clearly to you that i am your protection i will Will keep you safe god loves you so much god bless you okay the next one is for anthony anthony the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of somebody that uh, made plans for bad things in your life and i just see how what happened was at the end you just when somebody gave you something that was bad to eat you just said well thank you lord uh, because you know god protects you god is there yeah. God loves you. And I just see how they they are just 
they don't understand what's going on how can you take this and you are still fine you are good you are uh, everything is in order it is because the lord is fighting for you because you say well i do not have to fight this battle because it's not in the flesh i just worship the lord and i thank the lord because i know the lord is walking before me and how that will change and transform the people that want to bring negative things in your life and i just see how the lord encourages you to keep on doing what's good and right be blessed Amen. This next is for Sonia. The Lord shows me how He is calling out your name and He is calling you out of the wilderness, out of a place of sorrow and into a place of joy that you step into that and then you receive what the Lord wants, wants you to receive. He wants you to receive that joy. He wants you to receive that peace. And, and the Lord shows me that that comes from being yoked with Him, being seated in Him, and knowing that that you are here to 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 give to the Lord and, and to worship Him. And the Lord shows me how He just how He takes this this ladder or this 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 staircase that you are climbing on. And how with him, like like how you are standing like on his feet, like a daughter, and he just steps over these steps with you right on his feet, and all you have to do is hold on to his hands. Because that's all that the child has to do when they're on their father's feet, is just hold on to their hands, and then he will carry you up the stairs. So hold on to the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Sonia, uh, God bless you. Uh, Sonia, I just felt uh, that the Lord says uh, you don't have to fear about the future and about the call that God has upon your life. I just see how the Lord has everything in plan and you can just walk with Him and He's going to open up the doors and the provision as you need it. You don't have to fear. All right. God bless you, Sonia. Okay, so the next one is for Pamela. Uh, so Pamela, the Lord showed me a waterfall that falls and, and, it's, and it's a waterfall of God's love and His provision for you. And I see how you come and you stand under that waterfall and the love of God is pouring over you. The provision is God is calling over you. And then I saw many people saying that Pamela is the one that's anointed by the Lord, the one that's blessed by the Lord, the one that's called by the Lord. And I just heard that over and over different people say she is the blessed of the Lord. Uh, and then I saw you uh, and I think you were selling something. Um, uh, you were doing some business and I just see how in a time where everybody else say the market is down, things is not working, how the Lord comes and He blesses you and your transactions that you do continues and is blessed. And so I just felt that the Lord says supernatural blessing upon your life. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, family. God loves you. You're very special to him. This next word is for Rena. Rena, the Lord loves you so, so much. And I, I just feel like God's glory is shining through you. And um, there was a scripture we were talking about today where it says, you will, Jesus says, I will, he sees light through our eyes. You could just look at someone in someone's eyes and you just know that like this person loves Jesus. Um, and I just feel like that's in your eyes. Um, Rena, the Lord has called you to be a creator to to make things um you know sometimes it's so much easier to listen to music and enjoy it than to make it because that's a whole different thing and i i just feel the lord says that your time and, and you feeling like you say for instance you're like a music writer right say for instance you you're just like listening i gotta listen to more i gotta listen to more of that do listen to more of this get more advice here before i take action and do this and the lord says you don't need to process any more information or the preparing season is done. God is calling you to step out and to start walking, to start making mistakes, to start learning, to go forward. Because I just feel the Lord is really taking you by the hands and saying, you got to walk, you got to take those steps. Um, I, I just really feel the Lord is calling you to start taking action. Um, God loves you so much. He's going to be with you. And I really feel you're going to build something so amazing for him and his kingdom. God loves you. God bless you. Okay, Christopher, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you on a small rowboat on the ocean um, and you are rowing and you're rowing and you're not really getting anywhere. Uh, but on your rowboat there's a, a what's a sail? An yes, sail. It's a sail. Yeah. Is it a sail? Yes. Okay, sail. sail. Um, <laughs> and I see it is down and as you uh, pull it up, I just see the wind of the Spirit start to blow. And the Lord says, you're going to have to make that decision for yourself to rely on your own strength or to rely on the Spirit of God. And I just see when you make that decision, suddenly the wind comes up. It helps you tremendously and you get direction in your life. I just see 
direction you get clear direction where you know what do you need to do what is what what is the lord expecting of you but when the lord expects something of you he will definitely help you to do it and it feels like you are working and battling on your own strength right now be blessed Amen. The next word is for um, Brian. The Lord shows me how how you feel like that your feathers have been plucked out, and how you can't fly anymore. And the Lord's saying that that is that is only what you that that is only what you think that you see. And the Lord shows me how He just puts His hand in front of your eyes, and then you see what the Lord sees. He sees this this amazing person with these huge wings that that can fly, and that is going to to go places and going to achieve so much when you are seated in the Lord. Don't let the enemy make you think that you are less than or that you can't do it or you don't have the right education for it. And the Lord shows me how some things take time, some things take persistence, but you are not down there. You are here seated in me. Be blessed. Thank you, Brian. God bless you. Brian, I just see how the Lord is just lifting you up and I see like an eagle that's in the wind and the, the wind of the Holy Spirit. And I also see a lot of provision, a supernatural provision that the Lord is bringing to you. And the Lord reminds me of how he fed the 5,000 people, you know, with five loaves and two fish. And I just felt that the Lord says the little bit that you have, he's going to help you to expand it. God bless you. Family, it was a great pleasure for us to minister to you today. Um, please, if you would like to receive ministry, write your name in a comment. I also want to uh, encourage you, please go and check out uh, the Unity with Heaven uh, teaching channel. Go and watch some of the videos, leave me a comment and, and subscribe and like it. Um, so I really want to see if I can build that channel so that I can minister to more people through teachings also. I love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.